Barbie is still on course to be the number one toy this Christmas. Not bad for a 63-year-old. Wow. She's 63, you know. But there is a suggestion that it's sexist to buy a girl a doll. What do we think, Brenda? I think Would you have bought your little girl I, dolls the whole time? Well, Would... I, I think that's a nonsense to start with because I, I... Not because. I loved Barbie and I liked Barbie because she had all these different accessories. I'm that person that will get the doll and then I want to get the next outfit and the next outfit. And I saw that as value for money because you're just getting one doll and then you just interchange all the outfits and the excesses and everything. And then I moved on to teeny, Tiny Tears and Teeny Tiny Tears, the ones that cried and did all the bits and, and, and whatever, um, you know. But I, I think, well, well yeah, um, <laughs> they didn't look like that. But um, <laughs> but I I love this whole thing of Barbie, and I don't think I think it's your own personal choice as to how it doesn't it didn't drive me to be some I don't know why everybody's against Barbie and it's it's you know I didn't think oh I'm going to live in the kitchen now because that's what Barbie's supposed to do. I don't think they want to live do. in the kitchen. I just well, think that giving a child something that shape is saying that's the most desirable shape But that didn't, shape I didn't think that is what I'm they saying. I didn't look at that now, and think though, that that's they? a desirable shape. They do bigger shape. Barbies now. Yeah. They do like, more shapely Barbies and all that. Slightly more shapely. I, 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 I was never into Barbie when on. I was a kid because I liked the dolls that you could mother and feed and then they'd poo and then, oh, yeah, and I loved the dolls. Tiny tears and, and tea. Tea. tiny tears, yeah. And then I loved, and my favourite doll was Tippy Tumbles because she did oh. roly polies around the floor. Oh, right, And yeah. Barbie, to me, was just boring because you'd change her clothes and she just was always like that and I'd think, oh, yeah, that's, that's just boring. <laughs> you know, when and I was little... I never, ever looked at that. Don't, that's a collector's item, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> and I never, ever looked at that and thought, it was just a doll. Like, I never thought... It never influenced I your... I never went your... to my mum and went, oh, mum, why haven't I got ten-foot legs and, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. little waist, well, I'll tell you, you something know. really funny. I only had one doll. My mum and dad gave me a doll and I ripped the arms and legs off cos I really wanted a Meccano set. So, in, in defiance, <laughs> you They sent the doll to Dolly's hospital off. twice to be mended, but after the, you know, the second accident, they realised that... It well, wasn't an accident? It wasn't an accident. <laughs> I wanted a Meccano set and it was only when I, I was in my 30s and 40s, I started seeing that Barbie was absolutely hilarious, but I really love Ken. And this is my love object, Ken, but my special love object is naked Ken. <laughs> <laughs> because obviously, if I, was, if I was a man and I got that as a present, I mean, honestly. The shorts are too big. Everything's too big and the there's nothing inside big. the shorts. Uh, <laughs> like, oh, Jack. Pete. You, I mean, it might make children grow up wondering. You are the, the last person on the panel I thought would have had collected yeah, Barbies at home. Barbie. Honestly, no, I, I didn't. love Ken. You can shout at him, he's not judgmental. Oh, I just like your husband. <laughs> <laughs> she married four like that. <laughs> <laughs> if only one had not even remotely like that. What about, what about that? you it's, with? It's a weird one because I, I'm not a doll fan. I was never a doll fan as a little girl. They always sort of scared me a little bit. I think I, I got I had a little porcelain doll years. Oh, ago yeah, and they, you, know, you just think scary. They, that it's comes scary. to life at night time. I just yeah. never liked yeah. dolls. So I, some I was of them eyes never, stay yeah, down like never that. mad about having them around the house. <laughs> but my <laughs> my little girl is absolutely naturally attracted <laughs> to the to baby dolls. So if yeah. that's what the and child wants and they go for that, then it. let them go for that. Absolutely. A list has been put together of the best gifts to buy pensioners. That's anyone over sixty five, of course. And whilst uh, lots of the gifts are really lovely, things like candles and jewellery and photo frames. Some of them are a little more, shall we say, practical. So Janet being our resident pensioner. I know she keeps rolling her eyes every time we say that now. Anyway, yes, she is going to decide if the gifts are indeed practical or plain patronising. OK, here we go. Bring on the gifts. Oh, he's back. <laughs> oh, no! I know you're going to love it from everyone here. A very Merry Christmas. Oh, well done, oh. Brian. Not sure about that. Oh, <laughs> oh. I'd be scared. <laughs> yes. Uh, so here we go, Janet. Now, these are genuinely on a list. Are as these things. from us? Oh, they are from us? Yeah. Oh, she gets mine. OK. Go on, right, then, Janet. Okay. What have you got? Here we are. Yep. A pill organiser. <laughs> <laughs> He's 
Is that, is that for me? All right, it says, Merry Christmas. Enjoy this lovely pill organiser. Lots of love, Brenda. <laughs> Well, that's good. Actually, it's good, but they're too big. <laughs> okay. I mean, I Ain't take a few pills, but I don't need that many. Yeah, you can have a bath. <laughs> so that doesn't get the thumbs up from Janet as a Christmas present. Well, it's present. all right if you're taking more. Yeah, but you can take it out. That's the beauty of it. You can take it with you and slot it in your bag. Yeah, yeah okay. OK, the practical. next one. <laughs> all right, thank <laughs> you, Brenda. Definitely you're welcome. You can't be too careful at your age, can you, you old cow? <laughs> so enjoy these toasty, warm, anti-slip socks. Love... Nanny Linda. <laughs> well, can I just say... They're great. They're great! They're, they're great brilliant. if you're a pixie. <laughs> no, the trainer sock. Yeah. I know, but my feet are too big for those. And no. anyway, I wouldn't wear pale blue But again, blue do, we find, do we think they're useful? I do. Yeah. Useful, yeah. 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 you got yeah. one floor, you've got to slip with them. Yeah. I love them. Yeah. You too. Practical. Them. OK, okay. <laughs> right, now, a book. OK. Sorry. To the brainiest woman I love. No, to so the brainiest woman I know, do these puzzle puzzle puzzle. <laughs> I'm getting got very tongue-tied because I'm not very good at opening presents in public. Maybe it's glasses we should have bought. <laughs> oh, I've got the glasses here. Right, all right, all right. Stop being patronising. All right, to the brainiest woman I know, do these puzzles daily during the holidays and keep the wonderful brain engaged, ready to come back in January. Love, Christine. Oh. <laughs> the mindfulness memory activity book. <laughs> I'm doing computer scrabble at the highest level. <laughs> I'm past that. But again, okay. do you not yeah, think that's useful? you can't useful? take your computer with you when you're yeah. travelling, that's okay. a good one, All right, my last one here. Oh, I like this. I keep seeing adverts for these old-style nightcap and night dresses, and apparently they're all the rage for the older person who wants to slip into something more comfortable and easy. Easy to put on. And easy to take off. Wink, wink. <laughs> Last <laughs> call. Well, there's only one kind of thing I want to slip into, and it's not a nighty. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, Mark, what is it? <laughs> I if like you don't this. want this, Janet, I'll have it. Enjoy this phone for seniors <clears throat> and have lots of fun. Merry Christmas, love, Gloria. Mm. Oh, I like that. Oh, so yeah, that, did that get the thumbs like up? I like well, that. But can't write a long, complicated message. Well, Janet, can I explain? Actually, this this is a flip phone for seniors, supposedly. It's lightweight, slim pocket size, has big buttons. It proudly has no Wi-Fi, no games, no internet, no GPS. It also has an <laughs> SOS button and built-in flashlight, and it also has a handy talking numbers feature and a loud ringtone. I love so that. That is the features. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, so, Gloria. There's so, one more thing. Oh, that, that, that. I've and got... this is from actually recommended by Age UK, so this is a good one. I'm taking this seriously. This is a serious one. <laughs> Dear Janet, you're invited to dinner with us in 2023. Lots of love and hugs, Colleen and Brenda. Yes! 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm shut those socks in you. Anyway, <laughs> there you go, folks. That is the list. I like um, this. I don't think it's the worst, to be quite honest. No matter how old you are, to be fair. <laughs> Honestly, if my Christmas stocking is pill containers and socks. Right. I've got well, there you go. So